status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Amazon Leo. Ten. T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. We have ignition. Two. One. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket, carrying 27 satellites for Amazon Leo. Spacecraft delivering fast, reliable internet to customers around the world. Strong close loop control. Engaging first throttle segment as expected. And we've completed our pitch program. Hydraulics continue to look good. Successfully completed roll program. Booster engine continues to operate as expected. Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. Engine continues to operate We're as expected. We're hearing Sarah Bailey Glasgow providing launch vehicles and data. Vehicle is now 6 miles in altitude, 2 miles down range. Atlas continues to move down the center of the range track. Now passing 1 minute into flight. Body rates continue to look good. Engine operating as expected. Throttling down, engine continues to burn normally. Atlas is now moving at 2,800 miles an hour and it's 12 miles downrange. Vehicle is now one half of its liftoff weight, max Q, passing through maximum dynamic pressure. And we have good indication of SRB burnout. Throttling up as expected. And we have good indication of separation of all five SRBs. Engine continues to burn normally. We just heard confirmation of solid rocket booster jettison. These additional motors augmented the thrust at liftoff to give the Atlas rocket an extra boost to reach its circular low Earth orbit destination. We're coming up on our next mission event, Jettison of the Payload Fairing. Let's listen in. Body rates are smooth. Two minutes to a nominal BECO. BECO continues to move down the center of the range track. Holding acceleration at two and a half Gs in preparation for payload fairing jettison. Centaur reaction control system pressurizing to flight levels as expected. Beagle has passed the Kármán line. We've ed exited Earth's atmosphere. Atlas is now one fourth of its liftoff weight. Engine continues to burn as expected. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison and CFLR deck jettison, throttling back up as expected. Flight commentator Sarah Bailey Glasgow just called out confirmation of payload fairing jettison. The composite fairing protects the spacecraft as it pushes through the harshest parts of Earth's atmosphere. Next, we'll hear callouts for cutoff of the Atlas first stage engine and separation of the booster stage, followed by ignition of ULA Centaur second stage engine. These events occur when the first stage has escaped Earth's atmosphere, getting above the Kármán line and into space. The Centaur upper stage, with the Amazon LEO satellites attached, then takes over on a trajectory to a precise location in space. Let's listen in as we approach these milestones. Boost phase chill down in progress. Temperatures are operating as expected. Engine continues to burn nominally. PU has gone to open loop control. Boost phase chill down complete. Temperatures operate as expected. And we have successful cutoff. And good indication of Centaur separation. 
Pre-start on fuel and locks, good staging. Ignition and full thrust. Arlton is running nominally. 